What's up y'all, future Maya here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So this will be our BBL vlog y'all, but I am actually one week and like a few days post-op right now. But I want to hop in and just say thank you guys so much for supporting me on this journey. It feels good to know that I can share this with you guys. Um, but yeah, a lot of you guys wanted the vlog as well as a Q&A. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff in the vlog that I did not answer that you guys might have questions about. So after you watch the vlog in the description box make sure that you leave any questions that you have and I will film a sit down well technically I can't sit down but <laughs> a cute little Q&A video answering all of you guys questions about my BBL so go ahead and keep watching and enjoy sis and I'll see y'all in the next one bye What's up y'all? So uh, welcome to this vlog. Um, obviously, I'm gonna be BBL this week. So <laughs> we just got to the um, Airbnb in Miami. So I'm gonna give y'all a little, little tour. Okay, so you walk in the door and you have a little entryway here. It's real cute. And then um, this is the kitchen area. We got a little bar stool situation here. Very cute. And then we have a table, living room area, and this is a sofa sleeper. Two of my girlfriends and my other girlfriends are coming later on the week, so that will come in handy. Um, this is where me and my mom will be. Um, my mom is gonna be here tomorrow, so this is where we'll be. Very cute, it's got a mirror over there. Then there's a big closet right here, a mirror, and a cute bathroom. And I said I needed this bathroom because I don't have to step over a shower. The other bathroom has a shower. Um, well, to step over a tub, girl. What? And <laughs> this is the bathroom. Super cute. I need this big mirror because I'm going to be looking at my body a lot. So <laughs> probably shouldn't be, but you know. Um, then this is the other room in here. My friend has spraying disinfection spray because Corona. <laughs> It has two twin right. beds in here. And then uh, there's a big closet in here as well. And then there is a, another bathroom right here. So really cute. This is why I chose that other one because I want to step over the tub. And yeah, then we have laundry as well because I definitely need to wash some stuff while we're here. And that's the Airbnb, y'all. So Tara and I are starving. We are about to go, hold up. I see Tara. <laughs> My booty finna be shaking just like that soon. <laughs> um, so Tara and I are starving, y'all. It took like an hour to get the car. What you looking at, girl? I know it's nice. We could, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are about to um go get some food. It took an hour to get the rental car, y'all. An hour. Uh, and dude had the nerve to have an attitude too. So um, we're about to go stuff our faces. Um, I'm about to take another video to show my mom the Airbnb. And yeah, y'all. And I'll probably check back in with y'all tomorrow as I'm about to go to pre-op. Y'all tearing her, it's working in the mirror. <laughs> I'll probably check back in with you guys before I go um, to my pre-op appointment tomorrow because we're about to just chill, kick it, probably eat, watch some movies and fall asleep. That's probably what the night's gonna look like. Terry gets to get a drink. I can't have a drink, so. <laughs> but it's cool. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. So it is Monday, February 1st. Um, I woke up, got myself together, looking kind of cute for pre-op. Pre-op is at 10.45. Um, but yeah, I know this video might come as a surprise to some of you guys. <laughs> But hey, yeah, girl, this has been on my to-do list for a while. And when your girl could afford it, sis, we in there. Yeah, so this was like a really, really personal decision for me to get BBL. Um, so I actually was de deciding whether or not I was gonna share as much. Um, even as I'm making this, I don't know if y'all are ever gonna see this vlog. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna tell you guys, you know, but I also don't know if I want to put the vlog out and, you know, be really like, 
out about it like that you know like obviously i'll be out and let you guys know you know that the body's done but yeah i just i just don't know right right now at this point <laughs> just because like i said it is a very personal decision for me um to do yeah i'm really excited for pre-op um in case you don't know i am going to dr jonathan fisher in miami florida so we're in miami but and if you are a bbl head then you know exactly who dr fisher is he is the goat sis and i want i don't want like a you know vixen looking body i want a very natural feminine vibe you know that's what i'm going for um so yeah y'all so i am about to go ahead with my friend we are about to head out uh get some breakfast and then head straight to pre-op and i'll see y'all there <laughs> so y'all i'm waiting to go in for my appointment at 10 45 it's 10 44. but they said i gotta wait come in exactly at the time of my appointment so we're waiting and texting and waiting and anxious and waiting. <laughs> it's 10.44 on the dot. Come on. Come on, sis. Come on. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I have a pre-op appointment, 10.45. Okay. Can I have your ID? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, y'all, so they just put me in this room to fill out a bunch of paperwork, but look at this view, y'all. It's so pretty. It's super cute, y'all. <laughs> this whole office is, like, super, super nice. It's so nice. I just, um, I couldn't really show the lobby because it was other girls in there, so let me get to this paperwork. So, here, it takes a long time, so let's do it. I'm a little nervous, though, y'all. It's okay. I'm fine. It's fine. Right, y'all so i just left pre-op we're about to pull back up at the airbnb but everything went really good like i said um just signing papers signing like away pretty much um they took go four pictures felt real vulnerable in that moment but it's cool uh they fitted me for my faha and then uh, they took height weight all that stuff definitely a little heavier than i wanted to be but it's cool I wanted to actually lose like 15 pounds before I got it done, but I was just telling my friend that I feel like I got to see how I feel about my body, <laughs> you know, at this weight, once everything has changed and know if I want to lose weight afterwards or not. So we'll handle that when we get there. But, um, yeah, y'all, everything went good. I'm excited. My mom, I just got from my mom. She's coming tonight everything's going great covid test was negative happy about that um we're about to go to the grocery store we we're gonna do it yesterday but it was closed so we're gonna go to the grocery store and then head back because i just put in my prescriptions for tomorrow I'm just trying to have everything ready to go so i'll see y'all later good morning y'all so i'm in the corner trying not to talk too much but it's the morning of surgery y'all see my bifocals yeah. embarrassing but i can't wear contacts or anything so i can barely see it on screen right now so it's, so it's the morning of surgery and i'm excited i feel good a little nervous but i think i'll be all right so my mom is here i got her playing all the gospel jams all the gospel songs because i need to be uplifted this morning my who called me last night and i know he's praying for me so i feel good about that so all right y'all we're doing this we do. It. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be so worth it. I feel ashy. I had to wash up with Dow soap, so I'm super dry. I'll probably have my friend put my camera on me once I get back to the Airbnb. So, prayers up. <laughs> Whew. What's up, y'all? So, um, let's go on record first and say I don't know how girls be vlogging <laughs> the first few days after this because, girl, I've had a few moments where I wanted to vlog. But my camera was misplaced or in the car or something like that so um anyway uh unfortunately <laughs> i did not vlog uh anymore the day of surgery or the day after today is day two post-op so um yeah i just want to hop on here and give you guys an update i <laughs> i'm not gonna say it was painful it was more very like uncomfortable feeling like right now i'm feeling super super stiff um so that affects like how i walk i feel like i've done like a thousand crunches 
that's what it feels like um but the first day um yeah Whew. <laughs> it was it was interesting yeah the first day when i got back i just went and i took a nap um my doctor said i need to get up and walk every hour and a half to two hours so i took my pain meds when i got in the car i woke up girl i woke up screaming for my mama <laughs> I was screaming for my mom and just kept saying how freezing I was. I was freezing cold when I woke up um, and I heard the nurse call my mom and then my mom picked me up and in the car I had some medicine and then we came here I went to sleep. It took a while for me to walk up um, just because I was very extremely stiff and I also ended up throwing up a little bit before I got into the elevator because um, I was just feeling kind of nauseous. And my doctor said, if you don't take a pause, you know, before you get up, you can feel nauseous. And I had just came from laying down in the air mattress in the car. So that made sense that I threw up in that moment. But um, once I got up here, I took a nap and then it was a struggle <laughs> to get up and walk every hour and a half to two hours. But actually, by the end of that night, y'all, I was feeling pretty OK. I was walking around. Um, I was fine. My friend was recording me. <laughs> I was low key trying to trying to dance and stuff, but it felt it, I was good. But after y'all, don't mind this arm garment. I don't think I have it on right. They're gonna show me <laughs> today when I go for my second massage. But the next morning when I woke up, which I had to, I was waking up every hour and a half to two hours through the night to use the bathroom because they got me drinking two gallons of fluid a day. Yeah, two gallons and um. Yeah, uh, I woke up the next morning, which was yesterday morning, and I was so stiff, super stiff, could not walk. Um, it was it was real, girl, it was real. Uh, I was walking way slower than I was the night before, and I was like, why? I'm assuming because I was sleeping. And when I tell you, my sleep, I've been getting them, them two little hour periods, <laughs> have been the best sleep I've gotten in the last few weeks. Cause you know, you're looking forward to something happening and stuff and you're thinking about it all the time or, you know, being anxious or whatever the case may be. Um, so I have been suffering from a little bit of insomnia before this and I've been able to really rest in those times. And I've been taking Tylenol PM as well, which helped me to sleep. Um, but yeah, yesterday I was really stiff. Got to my first massage, which wasn't too, too bad. It was pretty gentle. I had to get some mess, get some food because I made the mistake of not eating before my massage. Uh, and I kept getting a little lightheaded while I was getting my massage. So they kept putting alcohol on me and letting me smell the alcohol to feel better. Um, my doctor did come in and check on me yesterday, Dr. Fisher. And he, first thing he said when he walked in, it was like, girl, that shape. <laughs> So he was pretty proud of the work that he did and he was just checking on me seeing how i was um making sure i was good if i had any questions and stuff because uh, i don't think he performed surgeries on wednesdays yesterday was wednesday so um i was happy i was able to see him after that i hold on, let me get me some water y'all they got me drinking all this water i gotta almost drink it constantly after that i went straight to get some food so me and my mom went to Burger King and I had to pick up a couple more prescriptions from Walgreens. Then came back here and I was feeling okay. Um, I'm just super, super stiff and that's how I feel from now on. Um, I feel okay and normal in my body. I just, like I said, feel like I've done a thousand crunches. <laughs> Not crunches, squats. <laughs> And so just moving a little slow, but today my mobility is a lot better than it was yesterday morning. So from the research I've done and, you know, Facebook groups and stuff like that, I've learned that you feel better every day. You get more mobile every day, especially if you're up walking every um, hour and a half to two hours. So I'm feeling I'm feeling really good. I just ate some breakfast. I took my um, a couple of the medicine I need to take and then. I'm just trying to be up. I don't want to go and lay back down. I want to move, move, move. Because a lot of the girls say your mobility becomes better the more you move around and walk. So I'm really trying to get rid of some of the stiffness that I have. Um, and even one of the girls that had surgery the same day as me, I saw her yesterday. She was walking in all regular. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I need to get to that point. So, But I'm also trying not to push myself too far um, for my body. But... I'm, going, I'm getting up by myself, going to the bathroom by myself. Um, first day, <laughs> what was the first day, the first night, and a little bit of the second day, I was definitely needing help for my mom and my friend to go to the bathroom, to get up out the bed. 
but it got better every time. So now I'm able to get myself up. Yeah, be pretty independent, make my own food, pour my own water, all that stuff. So we're, we're making progress. We're making progress, sis. But yeah, like I said, I don't know how girls be <laughs> vlogging. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it, girl. Because a few times I was going to vlog for you guys and talk to you, I was face down in the bed. <laughs> and y'all was just going to get that real. But my, like I said, my camera was in the car most of the time because my mom and them were worried about getting me out, not my camera, <laughs> which makes sense. But um, yeah, um, I'm gonna give you guys an update again later on today after my second massage, show you how that goes and show you the body later. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. My boo sent me some flowers. I'm so sweet. <laughs> and then my favorite colors, he knows I love like blush and like ivory and white. So I was so happy to come home yesterday to see these because a girl like me was Having a rough morning yesterday, so don't they pretty? Aren't they so cute? <laughs> really, really sweet. Really, really sweet of him. All right, y'all. So just real quick, show y'all what we what we working with. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. The arm thing. I'm close this so y'all can really see. Y'all, my hips and booty have been knocking stuff over. <laughs> I ain't used to this, girl. I ain't used to it. But yeah, um, actually the camera and pictures don't do this any justice, y'all. My waist is going down by the day. Um, I do have my drain in. You kind of see it down here. It's pinned down there. But yeah, y'all, this is what we are looking like. Um, the curve is actually way more dramatic than it looks right there. And every day I've been getting smaller. But all of this, y'all, is numb and super duper swollen. I'm really swollen. I saw my doctor yesterday and he said... That was crazy swollen. So all of this is going to be way smaller. He delivered on the hips. Y'all know I ain't had no hips before. <laughs> and I can turn to the side, but I do have on my back triangle, which is making this dip. Y'all see it right there? So you can't really see the dip, but minus that, it's a nice little, little dip there. But who y'all, I'm so swollen. It's not funny. All I feel is like fluid in my stomach. But girl, even swollen, she snatched, baby. <laughs> so, just wanted to give you guys a quick update because I do get my foams today. And um, probably after my next shower, I'm going to put the foams in and I'm going to look super stuffed here. So, I wanted to show you guys. Before we got to that point, my arms have been draining the most. Uh, mostly because I guess... I'm using them still like I keep pushing my I have to push myself up with my arms I'm still using my arms a lot so I do have them wrapped right here and right here because that's where my incisions are so I can feel that they're wet so that that's happening but besides that y'all everything is good this morning I've got enough energy to um <laughs> tie my hair up put my little ponytail on the back I did a little bit of some brows girl <laughs> I got on some lashes today <laughs> Last two days, girl. It's been real. So, yeah. Um, my mom is leaving today. And my other two girlfriends are coming today. So, they'll be here um, to help me out. And, y'all. Oh, I didn't tell y'all about my first shower. Hold up. Yeah. So, y'all. My first shower was a workout. It was cool actually washing up. It wasn't so bad. I was a little nervous because I didn't know how the water was going to feel on my skin. Because I'm super numb and swollen everywhere. It was more of a struggle to get dressed afterwards. Afterwards, having to put this on and have my mom help me put on my compression socks and all types of stuff. Girl, that was, whew, it took a while. It took about 20 to 30 minutes to get dressed afterwards. But the more I become mobile, the more I'm able to do it myself. It won't be as bad. But girl, whew, it was a workout. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, I need to eat a snack. What time is it? I'm gonna eat a small snack and take some medicine. I like to eat some dinner, like some lunch in about an hour um, and take my pain pills because I do have my second massage today. Girl, I'm loving it. It's so crazy. I look so much thicker on here, but yeah, I'm snatched. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> okay, so did that work? My you no, hands it wasn't working. Right. 
Ooh. <laughs> so I love these hips. Oh. Looks so good. I feel like I need to be trying to walk as long. I think the sketchy website is yeah. true from Stolen. I, I still have a, have a um, you look on the bright side? first to like walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't mark normal, it's just more uh, That's my yeah. internal front protection. Discover something yeah. brighter. So good. <laughs> yeah, my friends, they in here acting crazy because there's iguanas all over the place. <laughs> Look, why? It's like, is this still there? I run it first. I he got mad. We got two. It's looking at the car That's now. I'm saying like it's. It's mad. looking at the car. Yeah. I'm not getting out. Oh, I can't even Get raise up to look. So she can I ain't getting out because I feel like it's gonna chase us. Oh. Give me here. I got a car. Is it recording? I ain't scared. Hey. Hi. Oh yeah, y'all. We are at my massage. I don't have much space because I'm laying in the back seat. Of the car, we have a uh, air mattress. So I'm just waiting because I got here super, super early, and it starts 2:30. I think it's like 2:05 or something like that. Oh, girl, I missed a spot on my bar. Oh, sorry, she there though. When he started the running, in the tree girl. When he started running, <laughs> and after we ran back to the car, he started doing a little. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, so we just, um, hi, you can come out. We just got to, um, my, what's this, my second massage? This is my third, third massage. Yeah. yeah, my third massage, so. I'm waiting because they don't be wanting you to come in until five minutes before your appointment. Now I'm a little swoop. But I feel good enough today, y'all, to pull my hair back, put on some um, earrings, some lashes again. So I'm happy I'm feeling normal in that sense. But um, thank you. <laughs> it's getting better every day. I'm almost walking normal now, so I can't complain. Yeah, I would do anything to sit down right now. Cause it's like, I want to be off my feet, but I don't want to lay down. I was telling my friends that they're Airbnb. Like, how do you get off your feet? But then I got to use my arms to lean. <laughs> but they got these real cute couches in here. I guess I could kind of kneel on those, but I'm also trying to move as much as possible. Cause the more you move, the less stiff you'll be. And I'm finally walking kind of normal, but I'm still super stiff. My butt just feels tight. His office is so nice. So I couldn't get it for real on my pre-op day because there were other girls in here. I can't get nobody else on the video, but. Yeah, I'm doing really good today. I almost feel like I'm walking normal. Oh. <laughs> You're not using any phones? Um, no, remember I get, I forgot them yesterday. And okay. They didn't teach me how to do it, so I didn't want to do it wrong. Okay, you bring it? Them. Oh I yeah. All right, y'all, so I just got out of my massage. Um, I was gonna record the recent massage, but as I started getting naked, girl, my brow. <laughs> as I started getting naked, I was like, yeah, no. Nah. But I'll probably record tomorrow because mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be meeting with Dr. Fisher tomorrow. Um, and he's just gonna pretty much check up, on, check up on me, make sure everything is good. That'll probably be the last time I saw him. I did see him for my first, um, for my first massage. So my second massage, I'm gonna see him, well, my was fourth massage i see him as well oh yeah they just put these um foams in me and i feel stuffed like i feel like a stuffed pig <laughs> or stuffed turkey i guess it, it feels okay walking around and stuff i just feel like i just have a lot 
Whew, a lot going on. So I can't be out in no heat like this, this girl. This for the birds. I am supposed to wear these foams every day. Um, practically like 23, seven, like all the time um, for six weeks. So it helps with compression and getting rid of bloating and um, swelling and stuff. So I need this waist to be as snatched as possible, sis. So <laughs> that's cool with me. I will get used to it, but it just feels weird. It's my first time having them on. So, so far everything is great. My friends are late. Picking me up. I don't know where they went. <laughs> but I was only in there for like, what, a little bit. Oh, almost not even an hour, 45 minutes. I told them it was an hour. So I guess it's cool they're not here. But I do feel like I need to make sure I'm drinking more water. I feel like I have definitely have not been getting in two gallons per day. But at least I have, I've definitely been getting in a gallon, maybe a gallon and a half. So I know they're about to go to the store and get some more uh, water for me too. But yeah, I feel like I'm just really happy that I'm feeling as normal as I'm feeling. Like you go into something like this, you don't really know what to expect. Even though you, you know, like I've been in Facebook groups, support groups and stuff to see what it was going to be like. It's nothing like actually being in it. But a lot of them girls was right. I haven't been in pain. I feel normal. Like, I feel totally fine. I'm just, my mask is down, y'all, because ain't nobody, anybody around me. So, um, I just feel super normal. My butt is still super tight, but I'm walking normal now. And it's day three. My, my surgery is on Tuesday, and it is Friday. So, I feel great. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to walk the stores or anything like that. But I can, like, go eat or you know, pop in, pop out somewhere, but I am trying to social distance as well because what we not about to do, girl, what we not about to do is heal from surgery and have that. So. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna see y'all there. Y'all, my boo sent me another package. We trying to open it. See what it is. My friend is opening it for me. Oh. What is it? Oh. A gallon oh, water bottle. Oh that's so no, helpful it's like though, a, right it's now. Helpful. It's like this bigger than a gallon, ain't it? That is so it's helpful. Oh, that's sweet. It's thoughtful. It's a thoughtful gift. That's even better you need than like that. a teddy It's something bear or that something. you need. You yeah. need that. Like that the best. Oh, he thought about babe. something that you actually need. Oh, that's nice. That okay, was sweet. Talk about yeah, good morning. So it's Saturday morning. Um, four days post up today, I think. I look a mess, y'all, because to me, last night was crazy. Last night was nuts for me. Um, mm, I know my face is super swollen, and my face is super swollen. Like my eyes are puffy and everything, but um, who I haven't washed my face or anything yet. I feel okay. I feel good this morning. It's just that last night it was my first night wearing my foams um i'm looking real like stuffed in the body here which is real stuffed um so that was really hard to sleep last night it was super hard to sleep last night with the foams in also i'm having a little pain in my stomach when my journey is at so um i'm up moving and working around and feeling okay today i'm actually laying down editing the video for tomorrow the video for tomorrow which will be um, a chill little get ready with me in natural lighting that I filmed last week um, in preparation for tomorrow. So I'm filming that for you guys <laughs> and I'm probably going to drop the ball on you guys that I did this. So you guys can let me know if y'all want to see this vlog, which apparently if you're watching this vlog, you just told me that you want to see it. <laughs> so um, I just want to check in with you guys real quick. Um, I am about to finish this up. And then pull myself together, put on my lashes, do my hair because I'm meeting with Dr. Fisher at 1. I'm doing my massages at 1.30. So um, we need to be up and out of here by like 12.15, 12.20, something like that. So, all right, y'all, I'm about to get back to editing and I'll see y'all later. Thank you. Try to start removing all your clothes. I'll okay. with the doctor, okay? Okay, thank you. Tricks and I am vlogging, so 
feels Yay, so good. Yay, we like it. I love it. So uh, we did say that uh, you are going to have a little bit of looseness above the yeah. guard button. I see the marble. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. This is going to shrink down more. It's going to be a little bit more swollen, then it's going to get firm, and then it's going to shrink down more. Okay. I don't think you're going to have any hanging skin, though. Okay, you know, we've got this looseness above the button. Yeah. I was expecting that, though. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, you look great. And you're very swollen at the waist and the upper back now. It's going to go down a lot more. Yeah, I feel like I'm still swollen. So. You look amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm so it. And it's still early after surgery. Right. Uh, how much longer are you in town for? I'll be here till Wednesday morning, but I'll leave early Wednesday at like 8 a.m. Cool. Yeah. Right on. I mean, yeah. I have nothing nothing to say. Okay. You're looking great. Okay. Cool. What other questions do you have? Um, I don't really have any other questions. Everything's been going pretty, pretty smooth. I just feel, you know, when the the stiffness, like a real tightness of the butt all the way. About six weeks after surgery. About six weeks? Yeah. It's going to start softening up sooner than that, but really at six weeks it's going to be pretty soft. Okay, because I'm, I'm walking almost pretty much normal now. You look like you're doing really well. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling normal. I'm very happy. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy. So they're going to be in and do your massage now, and we'll just keep doing massage probably through Tuesday, and then right. here we go. All right, sounds good. Nice. Thank you, Dr. Fisher. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye to the comments. <laughs> so, yeah, Dr. Fisher just left out. He said, I'm looking really good. I don't know if y'all heard the whole conversation, but <laughs> everything is cool. Um, I'm loving my body. He told me to lay down, but I kind of want to wait until they come in here to help me get up on the table. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to do that. Oh, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling so good. What's up, y'all? So, it is Sunday. Uh the 8th what's that the 8th yeah it's the 8th the 7th um i just posted a video for you guys i got up early and well yesterday and this morning was editing that video got it up for you guys um told y'all what i've been doing here in miami all week <laughs> um so yeah i also had to do something for work really quick something that was due to a brand um today that i'm gonna edit and send over to them today which is why i got makeup on but this makeup is about to come off it's about to come off right now because I think we're about to go to the beach and just chill out. And apparently I'm laying on my face all day. So the last thing I need to have on and worry about is makeup. So I'm about to take this off. And yeah, y'all, my last couple nights though have been rough, y'all. They have been really, really rough. Um, just because I gotta wear these foams now in my faja. So getting comfortable has been really hard. I did hire an outside masseuse to come today and oh i felt better afterwards and i was able to just like lay down <laughs> afterwards for like 20 25 minutes and it just felt so good because that was my first time like feeling free since i had these phones all in my fire hot girl let me turn around for y'all but i got on my jacket because i want to look normal from here up <laughs> even though my eyes are a little bit puffy but um yeah y'all this is what we looking like these are all foams you can see this that's why it's super duper like wide and so it's, it's a lot y'all it's a lot but the booty she there she there <laughs> so i'm about to take my makeup off and get more chill since we're about to go to the beach i'm gonna eat something lay down to my friends get back to get us in that's about it y'all Y'all, we at the beach. They got me out here walking. Mm -hmm. I keep putting on this jacket, girl, because it cover up everything. I'm looking like a fat pig. I told them I look like a stuffed walrus. <laughs> girl. I do compared to y'all. My friends looking all cute. Can we get them? No, but like at them least up. I can walk, though. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, y'all. Wait, I don't feel like a straight tourist. So pretty. And all in my, in my slides, y'all. <laughs> out here looking crazy, sis. That's what I was saying, Tara. I think they just specific to each hotel and resort. They trying to find me a little thing to lay on, y'all. I wish I could be cute, cute. It's okay, y'all. Next time in my, I'm in Miami, girl. It's on. Shaking a little something, showing a little something. <laughs> it's like, it's gonna be worth it. It's already worth it, honestly. Already hot in these phones, y'all. I feel pretty good, y'all, to be five days post op. And I here walking on the beach, feeling good. I'm just super tight in the butt area. So I just feel like I've done so many squats. Um, but at least I can walk at this point. 
It's just my butt is just super tight, which Dr. Fisher, obviously y'all heard him say it was gonna take about six weeks for that to soften up completely. So, you know, my masseuse today said that my metabolism is super, super fast, so I need to really take it easy. So, I'm about to lay down. All in the car, Devin. You might look up. Hi guys. <laughs> this is how we transport her. Right. And look, Sierra's in the back. Say hi, Sierra. <laughs> Green light. designated cripple driver. Right. Y'all, we finally got Maya out here in the sun. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at the booty though. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be outside. Not in the room no more for a second. Mm. You gonna smile, girl? Huh? I say you gonna smile. Hi, Let the people see you. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm about to set y'all up right here. So today I am six days post-op, and um, it was my last appointment today um, at Unique. And it went good. They took my train out. Sis, so happy. Cause I felt like it's crazy how restricted I felt with that. I didn't realize until after they took it out. So um, my train took that was painful. That was extremely painful. They did my massage first, and then they took all my stitches out, and then they, uh, whew, and then they removed the drain. So she was like, three, two, one, take a deep breath. And I couldn't even take a deep breath, y'all. I was screaming. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, they didn't laugh at me, though. So, <laughs> yeah, and they took it out. It Then it, like, burned for, like, 30 seconds, like, internally. And then it was out. And then they took my after pictures. Then Yuli, who I love. If you guys ever go to Unique to get a BBL, Yuli is amazing. She's so sweet. Um, she helped me get dressed. They had to give me another marble to put in my belly button because whoever did my... Um, massage on Saturday when I met with uh, Dr. Fisher she forgot to put my uh, marble back inside my belly button so she gave me a new one and then um, yeah she helped me get dressed and that was it y'all say bye to everybody and I feel free <laughs> I feel free because it's like now it's just my regular body I gotta worry about my drain and emptying that out and she said I didn't have any more fluid left in my back only had a little in my stomach but we were able to push that through the drain and they said everything was looking good my incisions were already healing my arms are finally healed because they have been leaking all week and that has been annoying my arms haven't been as sore though as like my back and my stomach so um yeah my arms are finally done leaking and i'm so happy so that was the last thing the last thing so I did come back home and put some Neosporin and a Band-Aid on my incision where my drain was. And they said just do that for a day and then just soap in water, any antibacterial water, antibacterial water. The soap, the Dow soap, girl. Okay. <laughs> and I put that yeah, on. Um, and then after the day, I'll just be washing it with soap and water until it heals. And that's it, y'all. So we're just hanging out by the pool. Me and two of my friends, one of my girlfriends, Devin, she had to leave last night, unfortunately. So she's gone. No, not last night. She left this morning. And then um, just me, Tara, and Sierra are here kicking it by the pool. I'm about to just be on my phone. Enjoy just being out of the room. Still laying down, though, y'all. Because after I was at the beach yesterday, sis. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, sis. <laughs> um, I swole. I really swole. I got really swollen, like my butt, my hips started getting sore and then like my whole abdomen and back area got really like swollen so it was a rough night but um it finally got back to normal in the morning and i feel better now so just hanging by the pool kicking it say hi tara hey. <laughs> and sierra she over there looking at the view and we're just kicking it y'all so i will check back in with you guys a little bit so here's the body, I'm so excited. This dress is from J Lux label and I had tried it on and on the screen I put like some before and afters. I took some pictures in this dress before and after. And y'all, yes. And then the fact that Dr. Fisher said I'm still swollen and I can feel the swelling like in my stomach. 
I may have pierced the body off. See my friends in the bag. <laughs> oh y'all, I'm so happy. I'm looking a mess right now, but girl, the body is popping. Was for homecoming, Maya. Really? Oh, <laughs> in high school. <laughs> yeah. Hey y'all. So it's what's today, y'all? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. Yeah. It's Tuesday. It's been a rough day for me, but my film sister just brought me some tacos. Yeah, say hi to Daryl. <laughs> hi everybody. I'm Daryl. <laughs> this is Daryl. She lives. We were here. English majors together. Yes, we were. We had classes together. So. She came in to bring me some food, y'all. I'm barely, barely making it, but I'm happy. What's up, y'all? So we are in Wynwood, right? Wynwood. Yeah. Seeing Wynwood like the Wynwood walls. We're gonna see like the um, graffiti and the art and stuff like that. Y'all, I have to tell y'all later how the rough of a day <laughs> I had, but I'm better now. I'm still feeling tight, but I'm good. I just walk around a little bit. If I get too tired up here, then I'm just gonna go get in the car. But <laughs> for now, I'm good. I did not have the energy to put on my lashes or do my brows or none of that. Uh, they got a good hair slick back today. <laughs> and that's not good. That is as good as it was gonna get, y'all. So how I'm looking. <laughs> All stuff, sis, but it's still gonna be worth it. Thank you, girl. <laughs> I'm about to go in here, get some footage for you guys to check out. Yeah, it's the birthday girl. Look at her. <laughs> So we are at the Windward Balls. We're about to take some pictures. And look at Maya doing what she does best, teaching us all how to take pictures. Waddling and all, my baby. Love that wall. Say hi! Look at her phone board, y'all. <laughs> she got her jacket on, trying to cover her phone board. She looks so cute still. Get it, girl, get it, girl, get it, get it, get it. Hey, y'all, so I'm on a flight. That's how I got to sit. I went ahead and bought a bobby pillow from Target. So I just got it underneath me, and I'm sitting on it like the pregnancy pillow. So my booty is hanging a little bit. It's uncomfortable, but I can do it. What's up, y'all? So, um, it's Friday, I believe. <laughs> Wednesday was my flight, but I was not able to, like, y'all. Oh, just adjusting to being back home has been a lot, y'all. It's been a whole, whole lot. Um, just to show you guys real quick how I'm looking. This is the Faha that I came out of surgery with, so it's got come to some stains on it. But, y'all, all this stuff is wrapped around me. Don't even look like I got no booty because. <laughs> I got all these phones, my triangle in the back wrapped around me. I got my board, hard as a rock in the front and everything. So it just makes it so uncomfortable and so hot. One second, I'm burning up. The next second, I'm freezing. So, sis, it's a lot. But I really wanted to quickly talk to you guys about my flight and how everything went, getting home and how I'm feeling now. I actually had to film and work today for the first time. <laughs> Yesterday on Thursday, matter of fact, y'all hold up, I'm about to lay down in my bed for a second so I can talk to y'all. <laughs> but I'm not feeling no pain right now. My butt is still like a little stiff um, and tight. But besides that, I'm good. The main thing right now is just the level of just being uncomfortable because all of my foams and my board and everything wrapped around my stomach. So um, adjusting to that and sleeping with that and I ain't barely got no light. Hold up, y'all. Oh, you gonna do this, girl. Work your arms out <laughs> first. Okay, let's just, okay, this is better. Y'all can see me back in the mirror how I'm, <laughs> how I am right now. But yeah, so 
What was I talking about, y'all? Oh yeah, I'm not in pain. I'm just a little stiff in the butt area. And um, yeah, the most is the just being uncomfortable with all the stuff wrapped around me. I gotta get used to that. And sleeping and finding a good position is a thing. So my flight ended up being okay, y'all. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, my arms was hurting because I was trying not to put so much pressure on my butt when I was sitting. Um, but the good thing is barely nobody was on the flight, which I expected because who trying to leave that Miami sun for this St. Louis snow, sis? It is snow everywhere. So, <laughs> um, I did get my own row. So I was able to lay down like I showed you guys. I think I was able to show you guys. It was not as bad as I thought. Um, but getting back home, yo, I was and I want to say I probably was dehydrated because I started to have like chills and a headache and I just felt kind of clammy um for a while after I got home that was that was rough um I tried to re-up on some water as soon as I got home and I couldn't really like unpack how I want to I'm an unpacker like as soon as I get home I unpack everything I can't take it <laughs> I like things to be clean and everything and I couldn't do none of that and that was bothering me um just finding the correct temperature for my house to be comfortable or finding you know places where I could be comfortable in my bed or on my couch was rough so Wednesday sis that's why the video this week didn't come till Thursday because <laughs> I was struggling when I got home I definitely had high expectations and thought I was gonna be able to get the video out on Wednesday but anyway after I got through Wednesday I was good on Thursday morning I was able to edit get the video out and lay on the couch in the living room and just kind of be out and about not out and about but you know walking and stuff in my house um oh y'all it's just uncomfortable Jesus <laughs> it's just uncomfortable oh and I try to prepare myself with all the Facebook groups and stuff y'all but I feel like I don't know I guess I didn't expect how uncomfortable like these boards and everything would be that I got on y'all all these foams and stuff who oh, says it's a lot but I'm feeling good I'm feeling normal in my body I don't feel sick I don't feel in pain or anything um I feel like I even feel better just being up walking around versus laying down because laying down is just super uncomfortable um with all this stuff wrapped around me so um I do plan on doing a few more update videos for you guys to show you my progress um we're gonna get back into our fashion <laughs> so some try on hauls and stuff like that will be coming um but again thank you guys so much for supporting me and being with me on this journey and being patient with your girl hopefully we'll be back to our regular upload schedule soon i like i said i did film some stuff today for a brand and it was a struggle because i was on my knees in my beauty room and just trying to maneuver was a lot so i really just got to be careful with how i'm planning my content and the things that i have to do outside of my youtube channel and instagram um but we'll figure it out it's all good i love y'all thank you so much for watching <laughs> as i lay on my stomach in very extreme uncomfort i'm about to wash my face off and go edit this content to turn it in today so i love you guys so much thank you for watching and don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section so that we can do a q a and i can give y'all all the tea of anything else that you actually want to know about my bbl sis and yeah love y'all and i'll see y'all next time bye